Hi everyone, it's your real estate captain. Today I'll be giving you a property presentation of one of our pre-selling projects here in Quezon City, the Oriana. Join me in this property presentation as I show you what the Oriana has to offer. Welcome back everyone to our property presentation for the Oriana in Quezon City. So a quick background lang regarding the, this project. So the Oriana is uh, located in uh, Aurora Boulevard, Project 4, Quezon City. So it has two buildings, pre-selling both ang, uh, buildings na to. So we have the North Tower, as you can see here. We have the North Tower and the South Tower. So, since both pre-selling sila, baka matanong nyo kailan ang turnover dates ng mga buildings nito. So, for the North Tower, turnover date natin would be April 2026. Then, for the South Tower, it's November 2027. So, mahaba pa yung down payment period natin. Later on, we'll be discussing that. So, uh, quick background lang then regarding the DMCI Homes, which is the developer for the Oriana. So, DMCI Homes is the first quadruple a certified builder residential builder here in the philippines so what does that mean any bang bearing nun? so with that we can guarantee and we can assure you that with the quadruple a certification of dmci homes your home is built into the top top quality of uh, construction standards certified yan ang pickup which is the philippine certification accredited correction Philippine Construction Accreditation Board. So, yan, magagarantee natin na top developer ang magagawa ng The Oriana. So, again, moving forward with The Oriana, we have, again, we have two buildings. We have the North Tower and the South Tower. So, the North Tower is uh, 54 residential floors, meaning 55 floors. 54 would be allocated for uh, residential. The ground floor would be located for amenities. The reception area then we also have the south tower so the south tower is 55 floors residential naman siya so it's a ground floor niya meron tayong mga uh, residential units so moving forward let's talk about the uh, units available naman so for the oriana magiging units available natin is studio unit one bedroom unit and two bedroom units later on we'll be discussing the uh, computation for one of the units here in the Oriana, both for North and South Tower na rin, to give you an idea. For the Oriana, let's talk about the uh, location first. So again, like I've said a while ago, it's located in Aurora Boulevard. Correction, along Aurora Boulevard, Project 4, Quezon City. So makikita nyo, malapit siya ito. Let's check the map. So makikita nyo, malapit siya sa Cubao, malapit siya sa Eastwood City. Then, in terms of school, meron tayong St. Bridget School. Pinakamalapit niya is National College of Business and the Arts. Then, we also have, Ateneo de Manila, University. Malapit siya dun. Then, University of the Philippines, Diliman, malapit din. Then, um, uh, in terms of leisure naman, uh, ano ba yung mga malls na malapit natin dyan? Siyempre, since it's near Cubao, we have Ali Mall, SM Cubao. We also have Gateway Mall. Then, it's also near to another SM Mall, which is SM City Maritina. Um, about 15, 15 minutes away lang siya, traffic permitting. So, besides that, let's talk about the uh, project summary naman of the Ariana. So, like I've said, uh, two residential building siya, but yung total area, lot area, near the Ariana is 9,314 square meters. So, um, we have one amenity level. Mostly located yung amenities natin, natin on the ground floor. Then again, we have two high-rise buildings. We have North Tower and the South Tower. Then um, almost 2,000 plus units yung magiging available natin dito for the Oriana. Then uh, in terms of parking, meron din tayong parking dito. It's located on the basement floor of these buildings. So um, seven, seven basement floors yung parking natin dito for the Oriana. So let's talk about the amenities naman for the Oriana. So for the amenities, we have here our entrance, main entrance, makikita nyo, a modern inspired, yung architecture ni the Oriana. So you drop off an area niya, nandiyan na rin, sa entrance and exit na rin niya. Entrance and exit na rin niya. 
including the reception area which would be located in the open lounge natin for the Oriana. Then we also have our uh, landscape gardens, no papansin nyo. Uh, plenty of uh, gar plants para to, to provide a healthy environment for our residents. Then we also have our three pools. We have the lap pool, we have the kiddie pool, then yan, check nyo. Yan. We also have our leisure pool for the Oriana. Then uh, besides that, we also have our three promenade, yan, part of the garden, garden of the garden landscape, yan, need the Oriana. We also have our lawn and picnic area where, just like in any other DMCI homes, we have our grill pits. Besides, you can make and uh, have a fun day well, just beside the pool with your family or your guests or friends. So, below, we also have our elevated play area dito. So, we have right below, we have the covered basketball court. Full court, chao, mga ikita nyo, di ba? Then, above naman the elevated area is the upper deck garden. So, yan, extension siya ng garden area natin. Which also includes the children's play area. And we also have a secondary exit from the basement naman. So, that covers the amenity core on the ground floor for the Oriana. We also have uh, part of our indoor amenities na rin is the open lounge. Pagpasok nyo pa lang, feel nyo na, na you are at home at the Oriana. Uh, makikita nyo, open lounge yung concept niya. Uh, just like in the other DMCI Homes project, check natin, yan. Ganyan yung itsura ng open lounge concept ni DMCI Homes. It allows uh, natural ventilation, natural light to uh, come in in the open lounge to make it more relaxed. Hindi tayo kulob, di ba? Then besides that, we have our game area. Ayan, game area. It has a foosball. Minsan, uh, it also has a ping pong ta table tennis, if you would call it. Then we also have our snack bar. So, dun sa snack bar, it could be a coffee shop or a snack bar area lang. Then, we also have our entertainment room. So, for the entertainment room, makikita nyo, meron tayo dito mga video kay na pwedeng gamitin ng ating mga residents to, to have their uh, karaoke needs. Di ba? Alam natin, tayo mga Pinoy. Gusto natin nagkakaraoke tayo. So, for us to not disturb the peace or the quiet within with our neighbors, uh, we could rent out this entertainment room para dun tayo magsaya. Di ba? So, besides that, kung may events naman kayo, we also have our function hall. So, ganito yung itsura ng function hall ni Dioriana. So, besides that, the function hall serves as uh, an event place or a uh, gathering place for any events like uh, birthday parties, um, seminars, di ba? Or uh, e even other events na pwede niyong pagbayusan. Uh, it can accommodate up to 50 to 8 people usually. So, we also have our fitness gym. Siyempre, our residents don't have to go uh, farther when um, they want to uh, go to the gym. So, we have our in-house gym na. Uh, if you would ask, meron bang bayad? Just for residents, for our residents, typically much lower yung price niya. Currently, some of our projects are offering as low as 50 pesos per day of use for residents then uh, about 100 pesos naman for tenants and uh, may monthly subscription din siya meron din siyang yearly subscription ngayon yung typical price range ng gyms natin so we also have the roof deck amenities so as you can see we have here our roof deck you can see that we have the uh, sky bridge which connects the north and the south tower of the Oriana so uh, with that we also have our lounge for both buildings. As you can see, meron tayo ditong uh, typical lounge natin for the roof deck is like this. As you can see, meron tayo mga lounge dyan, meron tayo snack bar, which our residents can use to relax and escape from the uh, hustle and bustle of Metro Manila living. Then besides that, the wonderful views of Metro Manila, which uh, only the roof deck can offer. So as you can see, Facing east, we have here the beautiful Sierra Madre Mountains, then a view of Mon Antipolo, then uh, Marikina, and some parts of Pasig City. Then facing north naman, we have the view of Quezon City Circle, then uh, 
the rest of Quezon City. You have a view of uh, Ateneo de Manila University, UP de Leman. Then, um, certain parts na rin of uh, Valenzuela, Caloocan as well. Then, besides that, we have our uh, east, uh, correction, west view. So, facing west naman, you could see uh, uh, up in the roof that you could see a beautiful sunset view, especially in the afternoon, di ba? Then, um, Manila Bay is somewhat uh, on the silhouette na rin for the Oriana. Then, um, on the south naman, you'll be facing Camp Crame, Pasig City, then Ortigas. That's what are the views facing south naman. So, uh, besides that, and we've discussed that the roof that can be used as a place to relax for our residents, a place to... Um, to chill, di ba? So, napakagandang ano nun. Napakagandang concept where you get to uh, relax on the roof deck with a wonderful view of Metro Manila. Then, besides our amenities, we also have our in-house services. As you can see, meron tayo ditong convenience store. We also have our water refilling station. Then, we also have our laundry station, which is the typical in-house services for all DMCI Homes projects. So, with the convenience store, hindi mo na kailangan lumabas, pupunta kahit saan for your uh, immediate needs, di ba? Meron na tayong store sa loob. Then, we also have, yun nga, yung water refilling station. The water refilling station, hindi mo na rin kailangan lumabas. We also have that. Then, uh, just like most of our projects, DMCA Homes offers a uh, free water gallon no? as long as uh, updated yung payment mo ng... Uh, water bills natin. Ah, correction. New association dues. As long as updated yung payments mo on time mag magbayad, meron kang complimentary water gallon na magagamit mo. Then, we also have our laundry stations. Siyempre, we have students who would be uh, renting, who would be living as residents in the Oriana. We're expecting na, siyempre, uh, after school, uh, medyo pagod na sila. Mas gusto nila magpa-laundry nila we have our laundry station. Then besides that, one of the first innovations in any DMCI Homes projects, syempre lagi nag innovate si DMCI Homes pagdating sa technology, pagdating sa systems. So, the Oriana will be having the garbage chute. So, um, hindi mo na kailangan dali ng basura mo sa baba. It's just a drop and shoot. Isa sa pinagmamalaki ni DMCI Homes is the Lumivent Design Technology. You can see, mapapansin nyo, in most of our projects, we have these holes. These are sky patios that allows the free movement of natural air and light within the uh, building, which also ventilates your unit. Kasi, syempre, if it enters the, uh, if the wind flows through the sky patios, it would naturally flow to your unit, allowing you to have a more natural air and natural sunlight. And in the long run, much sustainable yun, syempre. As it somehow lowers your electricity use, your air conditioning use, and syempre, environmentally friendly, di ba? Part na rin ng Lumivent Design Technology namin is our atrium levels every five floors. As you can see, meron tayong five floors for every atrium level. Meron tayong atrium level on every five floors. So, even if you're on the higher floor, creates an illusion na you're somewhat on a lower floor. Hindi nakakalula, basically. And um, it creates a healthy environment for our residences na hindi sila kulog, di ba? And uh, mas nakaka-entice yun, manirahan, compared to other buildings na kulog, medyo feel mo mat nasa mataas ka luga. We also have our units here in the Oriana. So we have our studio units. Typical area niya is 30 square meters. Some units do have balcony later on. I'll explain why. So, uh, we also have our one-bedroom units, 33.5 square meters yung unit size niya, up to 35.5 square meters. Ideal for students or for uh, investors who want to rent out their unit since malapit siya sa Ateneo, malapit siya sa UP Diliman, and for employees who work in Cubao and Eastwood na rin, di ba? Then, if you have a family, you wanted a larger unit that you want to live in the Oriana, with your family. We also have our two-bedroom units. As you can see, 
A typical size natin for two bedroom units is from 59.5 square meters to 70 square meters in the South Tower. Uh, we also have the North Tower two bedroom units. Typical size natin for that would be 54.5 square meters to 81.5 square meters. So, um, tataka kayo, wala ba three bedroom units dyan? Uh, currently, wala tayong three bedroom units, but we do have provisions for tandem units. So, itatandem natin yung two bedroom and one bedroom. Sorry, pumitiyok na. So, um, as you can see, yung two bedroom units natin dito for the Oriana are, uh, some of it are corner units. We also have inner units then. So, um, let's talk about the uh, price range naman. So, for the North Tower, yung two bedroom units natin, Typical price range niya is, uh, listed price niya is from 6.6 .6 million to 9 million pesos. So, um, mahal, mahal ba siya? Is it uh, worth it kung bibili ka rin ganun? Later on, the sample computation, we can prove na sobrang sulit yung uh, prices and the uh, best value for money yung uh, units natin kay Dioriana. So with the South Tower naman, which will be launched this October 9, 2023. So stay tuned. Kasi meron tayo mga promos dito. Again, I'll be discussing it later on sa later part, sa computation part ng video na to, ng presentation na to. And um, for the South Tower, yung uh, list price ng mga units natin, the price range would be for the studio unit, it's 5 million pesos up to 5.7 million pesos. Then for the one bedroom unit, it's from 5.59 million pesos up to 6.86 million pesos. Then for the two bedroom units naman natin, for the South Tower, its price range is from 7.8 7 million pesos up to 9.77 million pesos. Then we have the South Tower which will be launched this October 9, 2023. So as you can see, napaka exciting nitong uh, newly launched building ni Dioriana. Bakit? Kasi yung two bedroom units natin dito comes with a 5% discount promo which is valid from October 9, 2023 up to October 22, 2023 only. So, you can save starting as much as uh, 394,000 pesos discount. And, um, napakalaking bagay nito when, uh, you're buying a property with the Oriana. Laking discount nito, di ba? So, let's start with the computation naman for uh, the South Tower. So, we have here Unit 4022, which is a two-bedroom unit. Total area niya is 61.5 square meters. So, uh, again, the original RFO date for this unit is November 2027. And uh, we have 48 months before maturn over to so this 48 months is the down payment period so uh yung terms na gagamitin natin is the minimum so as you can see minimum down payment natin is 15 percent minimum down payment which is payable in installment for 48 months then the remaining 85 percent is the balance for bank financing so again we have here uh, the list price 7 million eight hundred eighty thousand pesos then, uh, after discount, which is 5%, yung 394,000 peso na discount natin for uh, this unit. Then, um, less that, ang magiging net contract price natin ngayon would be 7,486,000 pesos. Then, 15% uh, minimum down payment, yung 15% of that 7.4 million pesos is 1,122,990. Then, the down payment naman, which is 15% of the net contract price, 15% of that 7,486,000 would be 1,122,900 pesos. So, less the reservation fee of 20,000, magiging 1,102,900 pesos na lang siya. Again, do you have to pay it in spot cash? No. You can pay it in installment for 48 months during the down payment period. So, uh, magiging ano na lang siya for 48 months. A monthly down payment mo would be 22,977 pesos and 8.08 centavos. So, payable to from November 2023 up to a monthly for turnover October 2027. So, we have here naman yung remaining niya, yung 85%. 
uh, of the uh, 7 million 486,000. So 85% is 6 million 363,100 pesos. So um plus pa yung ano natin doon yung closing fee. So what is the closing fee? So the closing fee would cover your documentary stamp tax, your transfer fees, your registration fees, your notarial and documentation fees and any other any other administrative hand handling fees in order to transfer your title to the buyer's name. So basically, all other government uh, documentation uh, documents para matransfer yung title to your name. So dito, 10.5% of the net contract price would be your closing fee. So yung closing fee natin is 786,030 pesos. So it will bring your uh, principal loan to the bank. So 85% of the net contract price plus yung 10.5% uh, closing fees, it would bring your uh, principal loan to 7,149,130 pesos. Yun ang magiging principal loan natin sa bank. So, with the prevailing uh, interest rate of 7.5%, ngayon sa mga bank, magiging monthly amortization nyo for a 10-year bank loan term is 84,861.44. So, ma-approve ka ba for a bank financing? So, yan ang abangan natin in one of my short videos that I will upload. And uh, stay tuned, subscribe to my channel para to get to know more, uh, more facts about bank financing and real estate debt. So, um, if ma-approve ka, let's check. One of the factors na ba banks would consider would be your monthly income and your age. So, let's say on November 2027, which is the uh, date of the turnover, Let's say you're a 45-year-old perso person with a monthly income of 180,000 pesos combined with your wife na yun, for example. So let's try applying for a 20-year bank loan. So ma-approve ka ba for a 20-year bank loan? Possibly yes. Why? Kasi typically, banks would consider 65 years old as a retiring age. So you have 20 years before you turn 65. So uh, besides that, consider din nila is your monthly income mo. So, 180,000, 30% of that would be around 60,000. So, kung yung monthly amortization is, na i-apply natin would be around 57,000, you can be approved for a bank financing. So, typically, yung banks would uh, would approve you 30% of your income for you to be approved. So to wrap this property presentation, we can conclude that the Oriana is going to be one of the best home investment that you're going to make in Quezon City. Bakit? Malapit siya sa school such as Ateneo, UP Diliman, St. Bridget School, National College of Business and the Arts. Then malapit siya sa public transportation such as LRT2, MRT3, then uh, the future Metro Manila subway station. Malapit din siya with major thoroughfares such as EDSA, Aurora Boulevard, and C5. Malapit din nga pala siya sa Marcos Highway. Then in leisure naman, malapit siya with uh, malls such as uh, Malls in Cubao and SM Marikina. Then besides that, best value for money pa si Dioriana. Kasi as, you, as we've checked a while ago, 7,880,000 yung uh, list price ng unit. Divided by the price per square meter, papatak lang siya na almost 181,000 per square meter. So compare that with other developers, we can guarantee na best value for money na si Dioriana. So with the amenities and in-house services naman, we can assure our residents, our tenants, our families na magugustuhan nilang tumira kay Dioriana. Unang-una na, we have our pools, we have our roof decks. We have our picnic areas and our garden landscape areas. Then besides that, di ko rin nabanggit kanina, the all DMCI Homes projects are pet friend has a pet friendly policy. So pwedeng pwede ang pets dito kay Diariana. So before we conclude our property presentation, like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment on the comment section below for any questions you may have. Then you may also directly send me a message on my social media pages. We have your DMCI Homes Accredited Salesperson, Jude Castillo, on my Facebook page. And we also have our Instagram page. 
Real Estate Captain. Also, TikTok, meron din tayo. Real Estate Captain din. Or you may send me a message via WhatsApp or Viber or even on text message or call at plus 63-905-537-4228. Again, napakagandang investment ni Dioriana. All you have to do is send me a message so we can discuss it. It's your Real Estate Captain. See you on our next Condo Property Presentation.